Hi, Jackie Wicks with Peer Trainer. Again, here with Blake Castle, the founder of Body Elastics. And I was just asking um, about core exercises and how this helps build your core. You know, bands are really great because you have to use your core really with every exercise that you do because you have to balance. Let's take the squat you did before. You were standing here and to hold yourself in this position as you were going down in here, because the bands, remember, it's not a rope. So you, you could have pulled back a little bit, but you had to hold yourself upright. And how did you do that? You tightened your abs, you tightened your core. Yeah. And for many of these exercises with bands, you must tighten your core, or you're gonna go off in the wrong direction. You have to hold your body stable while you're doing it. So really, most band exercises incorporate your core. Now, all right, is this almost an easier version of the stability ball? You know what I'm talking about how the st stability ball like keeps your, you know, makes you hold your balance. Similar, like, sure. In that same, yeah. but it's easier because the ball is flapping around everywhere. Right. You're just holding on to the Now a quick thing, the squat. Now you guys were talking about the squat and you were asking him different exercises to tone different parts of your leg. Yes. And Blake was saying, you know what, squat is just like great all around kind of thing. Is that? You know, I always like to look at the bodybuilders when you look at the best exercises. I used to be a competitive bodybuilder and follow bodybuilding and the tried and true exercises to build incredible legs. And they don't have to be muscular, but shapely is the squat. And, and people who, squat's not an easy exercise. So a lot of people will shy away from it. You shied away from it. Because, I did. Yeah. For, the stuff for, for many, many, many years. <laughs> right. But it's just an, it's an amazing exercise. It's going to work your outer thighs. It's going to work the main part of your quads. It's going to work your buttocks. It's going to work a little bit of your hamstrings. But here's what I was shocked about. When I just did in the resistance band, it actually felt good. It has never felt good. I've shied away from it because it, I'm not trying to say that working out should feel good, but it actually felt like. Felt I right. Was, yeah, felt right. And I almost, call me crazy, I felt like I was almost doing a yoga stretch as well as strengthening with the resistance bands in a way that I've never felt in my life with a squat. Now, I have no idea. You know, what magic is going on there, what made me feel that way, but that's well, how I Well, we felt. want the before and after, so we're going to take the before today, <laughs> and I expect in two months that there's going to be a major change. <laughs> but you, <laughs> that's pretty hardcore, major change. <laughs> All right, just a small change. You no, know, it'll happen. If you do them, Jackie, it'll happen. Okay, All right. Yeah, I, I, can, I would do that now, whereas before I just wouldn't have done that. It's just so helpful to be shown the right way to do it. I mean, who would have known the chair? These little things that you're doing just it, it sort of add up. It's that you saw it. it adds up to make something like the right stretch, the right workout. All right. If you're not doing it right, you're going to get injured. Yeah. It's not going to feel right. You're not going to want to do it. Yeah. So exactly. let's do the basics. Let's do them right. Let's get you started. Great. And okay. So the results. next, the next basic we were talking about. Let's work the back. The back. I'm going to show you one of the most basic exercises you can do for your back, and this is going to work. Your lats, which is the huge muscle on your back, okay. the majority of your back, okay. and responsible for taking your arm from here down and from here down. Okay. Now, why so, does she want to do that? If you want a beautiful, shapely back and a strong back, your back's really, you incorporate your back into everything that you do. Um, you go and open a door, watch my arm. That's back. Right. Um, your back is, you know, you're sitting in a chair. Anything you do, you're using your back. Let's strengthen those muscles. That's where many people have problems. I'm going to give you a really basic exercise that's going to strengthen the main part of your back. Great. And it's going to feel good. Good. So we're going to use uh, the door anchor again. So put the door anchor at about um, knee height. Okay. So. The soft foam piece goes on the inside. Do it a little lower. Do it at about knee height. Oh, knee. Yep. <laughs> Then just close the door. You're in. Oh, that was easy. Um, let's take That's a. That's the first time I did that. Let's take a red and a yellow band. So thread them through. Okay. Clip a handle onto each side. Let's get this ankle strap off here. So clip a handle onto each side. Right. So both of those go on. Oh, both. On one, right. Good. What we're doing, we keep adjusting the resistance because remember that your back is stronger than your triceps, your legs are stronger than, you always want to be changing the resistance. So like I said, on that 27th, 28th, 29th rep, you're feeling it. So what we're going to do here, I'm going to have you seated this time because we're okay. going to go basic. What you can do is you can sit down on the floor. 
he moved the chair out of the way. There are two ways you can do this. You can do it with your feet in front. And what you can do is, you're going to sit here with your arms straight. You're just going to pull your hands towards your hip. Okay. And during this exercise, you can do it that way or you can do it legs crossed. Whichever is... You can do it legs crossed. Sure. Whichever more comfortable for you. As you do the exercise, I want you to keep your hands relaxed. What happens is, if you tighten up your hand to grip, I'm going to pull with my bicep, which is in the front of your arm, instead of my back. Once I relax my hands, I have to strictly use my back, and that's how we isolate that muscle and use the correct muscle. Okay. And that's, you know, well, that's a lot of resistance. Let me start you off with just the red. What do we do? We're going to flip the yellow. Flip. Flip. Okay. Just a little drop. Yep. Okay. Side. Okay, so whenever you start with the bands, you want them to just be a little bit, you don't want them to sag, but you want them to be stretched just a hair. Right. Okay, so sit back a little farther. I want your arms to be straight out in front of you. Okay, good, that's good. Now pull your hands to your, to your hips, to your waist. Good. Pull. That's it. Keep your hands relaxed. You know, when the door is closed, using the door as your support just makes it... Now, how does it feel? It's burning, for sure. And I talk because then my mind is off of... Now, the, is, it, now is it burning in your triceps or in your back? Uh, in my arms. Initially, it's going to do that in your arms because you have to strengthen your arms. But here, as you're doing the exercise, I want you to hold on to the handle just enough so it's not going to fall out of your hands. Don't grip them tightly. Now, does this also help address the whole jiggly arm fat? Question, it's not. This is not a jiggly arm fat exercise. It's mainly for her whole muscle back here. Right. And I can feel her working right there is her lat, and yep. I can feel it. It's shortening and lengthening. Okay. Cool. Um, and then there are little tips. While you do this exercise, you want to keep your chest up, right? And you want to keep your arms tight to your body. So this is not tight to your body. This is tight to your body. Right. Three. Two. The hardest. Done so One. Now remember, okay, so you're done with that. Remember, if we didn't do enough reps, if maybe you got tired out at 18, 19, yeah. let's go to green. Okay. The let's, not, let's not build it. Yeah. Let's tone it. The lighter we get. Right. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah.